Oh, they oh yeah. Good. <laughs> well, maybe this is a nice one to start. Yeah. You are experimenting with your cameras. Okay. Introduce, not yourself, but each other, and then you can have a uh, <laughs> look at each other. This is uh, Ed. Uh, he plays uh, drums in editors. Uh, yeah, he's, uh, he's got giggly eyes and he speaks out the side of his mouth. I really do. <laughs> speaking out the side of my mouth right now. It's natural, mate. Do you want to introduce me then? Yeah, this is Russell. He's the fat man in editors and he plays, he plays bass. And he's also the most humorous person I know. Oh, he smiles a lot already. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so he he's like, a happy He loves guy. life. Look at that. He loves life. <laughs> well, you met during music technology school. Uh -huh. Was it your dream to become an audio producer or audio technicus at the beginning? <laughs> Russell? Uh, audio technica. Yeah, do, yeah. do, do you want to be the yeah, producer the best. or technician? Or? No, uh, no, I don't know. We kind of wanted to work in a studio. Um, I think that was the but initial. Behind the mix tables instead of in front of the mix table. Um, yeah, yeah, <laughs> I think. But you know, we all we all went to university and we wanted to like form a band, basically. So, you know. So you wanted to form a band. That was why you started to study the music. A little bit. Yeah, we all had in the back of our minds that we wanted to form a band, really. So. You so know, you thought that might be a good start. Well, the best, I think, the best way to meet you know like-minded people is to you know, go on courses like that, I guess. And, mm -hmm. um, yeah, they don't do courses in forming a band, so, mm -hmm. yeah. It's... But well, when you started at first, did you met through a project, or <laughs> was it... I met Russell, I met Russell on, on uh, an open day, Yeah. like, before we actually went to university, before we actually decided that that's where we were going to go. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, I guess we kind of bonded immediately over our dinner. And uh, <laughs> then, then I lived with Chris and Tom. Tom met up with Russell in the first couple of days. Then we just sort of got together through that, really. Mm -hmm. So, as you probably learned a lot of producing stuff during studies. Uh, not that much. No? No. Oh. Uh, it was. Uh, it wasn't the greatest course. We don't. Did rate you finish it. it, by the way? Yeah, yeah, we finished it. All of you? Yeah. Uh, we don't. We don't rate it very highly. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, but you finished. So that's yeah. something. You have something to fall back on. Well, no, not really. No. <laughs> We've got better names. I was because I was really interested why you didn't produce it yourself. <laughs> you're all your oh, albums. No, I thought you there four, be a four brilliant producers no, in this we, band. And we, no, we weren't good enough. <laughs> simply. But, well, you're always uh, familiar of uh, trying to be nor as normal as you can. Although everything is going really quick around you, you're getting really famous. Very. You got really famous very quickly. Well, How hard is it to be just a normal guy? I mean, all those. Well, I think I think we're, it's very easy for us because we're yeah. quite a faceless band. You know, we're not always in the music press or whatever. You know, we're we're not we're not a celebrity in in that sense. So, so it's fine. Nobody recognises us. We can walk around and nobody will know who we are. So it's, nobody it's been, ever recognises you on the street. I can hardly imagine, especially in England. Uh, yeah, no. I mean, maybe Tom gets a little bit of recognition but I don't think any of us have really struggled we're not being stopped in shops and things like that so. no no it's, uh, oh so there they are, are. For it? there they are <laughs> they've been spotted <laughs> um, yeah so, so it's, it's absolutely fine there's no there's no issue with that at all we've, we've been very surprised at the success we've had in Holland actually we're, why is that we're, well I don't know we're, 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 we seem to be very popular over here. Yeah, you I mean, are. It's, yeah. uh, which is great. Uh, the gigs, always the gigs we play here are fantastic. It's probably our favourite place to come in Europe. Yeah, yeah. Because of the gigs. Yeah, of course. I mean, yeah, yeah we're we're a rock band, and if the if well, the gigs are. Most of the time, are, you hear totally different, uh, yeah. different <laughs> statements why Holland is their favourite place of a band. Oh no no, no I, I, I'm yeah. What a <laughs> it's fun. It's a fun place to come, but the gigs are just. Outrageously good. The, the crowd seem very, very vocal and, and really enthusiastic whenever we come. More so, than England, because I always well, hear about England. That the it's all, it's almost crazy. the same. It's, it's kind of the same vibe I think you get over here as you do in England. I don't know. I, I guess the Dutch and the English are quite similar. I think we, we share a kind of equal um, affinity with each other. So. Yeah, that's probably true. Was Holland uh, the first uh, country outside of England? 
Uh, yeah, apart from Ireland. Yeah. <laughs> That's almost English. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I wouldn't say that about you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, anyway, we'll travel. There. <laughs> That's the face. Uh, yeah, yeah, it is, yeah. It was our first, we played our first uh, outside gig um, outside of the UK. You did? Uh, in Holland, oh, London, Holland, it was, yeah. Oh, of so, course. It's always a lovely place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Which was great. We had a lot of fun. It was good. Remember that gig? Yeah, it was awesome. Yeah, we played in the um, in the upstairs room of the Paradise. So it was absolutely jam packed. You couldn't fit any more, more people in there. Um, brilliant vibe. Fantastic crowd. Loved it. Have you ever been back to the Paris Hotel? Yeah, we've remember. played there a couple of times. We played there and I in imagine the not in the upper hall anymore. We played, yeah, we played in the big room. And we've, we've just found out, uh, found out yesterday that um, we put... Oh, he's got a spider on his back. Uh, okay. Okay, uh, oh, well, never mind. There he um, comes again. Oh, yeah, it's still there. It's pretty yeah, it's big. Pretty big <laughs> um, so, yeah, we, we put our... A Paradiso show on sale and it, and it sold out within an hour. Oh, <laughs> so that's great. You can't get much better than that. Can that's you? great. It's a big venue. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah, it is a pretty big venue and it's the most famous one in all of us. Yeah, yeah it's good. So, are there any venues in England where you always wanted to play when you were younger and then you, when you finally did it was some kind of amazing game? Uh, Semi Cool in Wolverhampton was great for me. Yeah, yeah. why? Because I, I, I used to go there as a kid. Oh, okay. So, it's just good to be, you know, on the stage. So, yeah. Yeah, so it's venues that you, you went to as. as in the in the days where you were affected by music the most, you know, when you were sort of 14, 15. I remember we played at um, played at Shepherd's Bush Empire. We were just supporting, but I saw my first ever gig there, yeah. and it was uh, it was wonderful. Was it a sold out gig? Uh, we were playing with Embrace actually. With what? Embrace. With Embrace. I've yeah. never heard of it. Embrace. Yeah. Have you not heard of the, the band? Okay, maybe I'm midway now. I know, I, I just thought they were massive. <laughs> so we, we played with, we supported them. Um, How long ago was this? Two years, years ago. ago. Yeah. But they're big in, in England? Yeah, they did that, that. He can't sing very well. So they, <laughs> yeah, he does, they did that Come Back to What You Know song. And it sounds just like that. Yeah? yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm going to check this out then, please. Yeah, I, I mean, don't check them out necessarily. Okay. <laughs> well, this is probably why I don't know them. Yeah, maybe. Maybe because they don't sing very well. Yeah. <laughs> um, you were nominated for Mercury. Uh, last year yeah and I read you were well you didn't want to win it yeah why was that it was a pretty surprising statement from a band who was nominated for an award uh, I don't know it's just uh, so it's our first record I don't know it'd be nice to win it further down the line than the first first time why because it uh, puts too much pressure on you for a second I might have been a, a bit more pressure on this um, you always just um, remembered for um, winning the award, aren't you? So it's just like we'd rather not be kind of just remember. You know, it's always Mercury Award winners enters, yeah. or you know, that's what it'd be like. Especially, yeah, especially so early on in your career, yeah. you don't you don't want to be tagged in any way, really. You just want to be going and, and doing your own thing. So, do you want to win it this year? No, we're not nominated. So. Yeah, we're not. We, we don't have to. They've done it. They've, uh, we're not winning on it. No. So. Say the V. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you tell me, you see this whole line and the Mercury Prize didn't fit in at the beginning. What do you see on the line coming up? Um, whoa, lots of booze. Uh, <laughs> Lots of booze, just more booze, really. It's just more booze. You it's probably a really short, dark line. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed Thanks. the cameras.